Yo, what's up, you silver foxes? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do something which you've all been asking for. It's my beta flight setup for the Transtech Beetle version 2. Right, guys, welcome back, and thank you so much for stopping by. As I said before, we're going to talk about this guy, the Transtech Beetle, specifically the beta flight setup. We're going to look at my ports. We're going to look at my rates. We're going to look at my modes on my controller, and then we'll go up, go through my OSD setup. So let's jump over and over to the computer, and we'll get all of that stuff set up for you. Right, everyone. So we've opened up Beta Flight. Now the first thing you obviously want to do is plug in your quad. I don't even have a. You can want to plug in your quad. Um, I'm not going to walk you through that. Simple enough. Plug in the USB C, um, and up should pop the, you know, the starting menu, the setup menu. Um, what I would do, some of the things that you should definitely make sure you do is calibrate the accelerometer. So that's get this thing on a flat surface. You might need to take the battery strap off to do that. Calibrate it. It will set all of the accelerometers and all that sort of stuff um, correctly so that the PID tuning and all of that stuff will work uh, properly. Um, now, let's just go through everything. At some point, you're going to have to put in, uh, clip in a battery. So some of the things that I would make sure that you do before you do that is take all the props off because you don't want anything happening um, out of your control at least if the props are off it's just motor spinning you might burn out a motor but you're not going to lose a finger uh, or da or hurt yourself i don't think you'll actually lose a finger with these small quads okay cool so the first thing we want to look at is um the ports i'm not going to really stop any of this stuff i will leave it up so you can pause and you can go through it so the ports that looks like that configuration i'll go through slowly so i have this set on d shot 600 we will go through the d shot stuff in a second you want to do that with jesc um, i'll leave a link down to joshua bardwell's video so joshua bardwell basically did a video showing you how to set up these escs with the jesc um, configurator it costs i think something like five dollars or something like that and not a lot of money but i'll leave his link uh, down below you can go watch that video that's the video that i showed uh, or watched rather um, to get that stuff all set up so motor stop on bi-directional d shot turned on 12 for motor poles 5.5 for motor idle i mean this stuff i don't even think i changed to be honest but we'll go through it anyway i have eight and eight over here accelerometer obviously turned on craft name trans tech i mean you can name it whatever the hell you want I haven't really touched any of this stuff. Um, receiver mode, so I don't know if you guys have done this yet, but you should go through the process of setting up both your um, your air unit uh, and other things to run so that it um, so it runs off of the, the, sh the low latency setting. So if you wanna know how to do that, we can do another video on it. Otherwise, you just wanna check how to set up your air unit, your goggles and your receiver to run on the seven millisecond um, delay rather than on the higher one. Cool, in-flight uh, ACC call, uh, that turned on telemetry turned on led strip turned on i actually might turn that off now um i don't ever use it it's unplugged so it doesn't really make any difference to me air mode yes ost yes dynamic filtering turned on uh, i think all the stuff that comes down here is all uh standard as set up i've never changed any of this thing but have a look at it you can pause if you need to battery and power i don't actually have a battery plugged in so some of the stuff might not come up i have 750 milliamps set up over here but uh, as you'll see in the OSD section, that's kind of where I do most of the monitoring of that anyways. Right, the stuff you've all come for, <laughs> PID tuning and rates and all that sort of stuff. These are the basic PIDs that I have um, that I have set up over here. Uh, have a look, copy them. Then uh, the rates, this is what I, I usually go on 666. So, you know, pretty standard. I'm not sure if these are um what what it came with but these are the ones that i felt really comfortable with on the simulator um and for that reason i kind of transferred the, those over so what i would say for this little quad, quad you could probably go higher i think you could probably go higher for the, for this quad but i would this is a really good starting point maybe even lower something like 500 degrees per second if you want to the receiver um things that you should probably do is set up the stick low threshold and stick high threshold probably a good time for me to plug in the battery so i can show you guys all that sort of stuff so give me one second it'll be no seconds for you because it's going to happen right now right we're back everything's set up um and uh we'll go from there so where were we we're in receiver so uh as you can see so i have everything set up here now what you want to do is you want to pull the throttle all the way down and you want to get it to a point where this value is a little bit lower than the stick low threshold so that as soon as you put the um put the stick into into gear i was going to say as soon as you put the stick it'll give you 
some power. So the idea is that you want to put the high threshold and the low threshold either side of kind of where the maximum bands are, if that makes any sense at all. Um, there's videos on how to do this. Joshua Bardwell's videos always pick this sort of stuff up, so I won't get into it. These are kind of my standard settings over here. I don't really think I've changed anything. Now the modes, something that you might want to set up. I have arm angle beeper and then flip over after crash. I don't actually think I've ever used angle ever, so I don't I don't really need that. But arm obviously have set up angle beeper um, and then flip over of after crash. If you guys want a specific video on exactly how to set these up and how mine are set up, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But these are kind of what I have. Um, if you follow the same auxes, you'll have this exact same setup as me. Um, I'll put an image over here right now on the screen so you can kind of see exactly what those switches are and which ones they correlate. But basically the top left, if you're holding the controller, is the one that I have set up for my arming switch. But that will obviously be completely dependent on your controller um, and doesn't need to be the same as mine. Now, the OSD, these are the only ones that I have set up. I don't actually have a lot of things set up on here. And the, and the main way that I test flight duration is through the OSD. So I have battery average cell, I have battery current draw, and I have the battery current drawn. Um, now I'll use this one over here. So the average battery cell as a way for me to monitor uh, how long I've been flying, or not how long I've been flying for, how much longer I have left. And I usually land somewhere between 3.6 and 3.5. I hardly ever go down to 3.4 volts per cell. Uh, video transmitter, nothing to do there. LED strip, nothing to do there. Black box, nothing to do there. And then CLI. I could maybe do a CLI dump for you guys if you wanted to. <laughs> Making noises. Um, making more noises great uh, but anyway guys that's that's it really if you want me to uh, I will leave a link down below to a Google Doc where I can put down screenshots of all these pages um, so you guys can get to them super easily uh, but that's all really that's my beta flight setup for this now there's something I really want to touch on quickly before we go and that is something called J ESC so there is something called the J ESC configurator which you guys can see on the screen over here now what it is, um, it's very similar to BL Heli, which you would have used on your bigger quads if you have them. And essentially what it does is it allows you a way to go in and edit or at least uh, uh, monitor and change directions and things like that of each of your um, of each of your motors. So it'll help with some of the tuning. You can add some more things in there, um, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. But as I said before, I'll leave a video down to Joshua Bardwell's video where you guys can go check that out. Um, he breaks it down really well, far better than I could. Um, and then this one specifically, you want to make sure that you have your props taken off. I don't have our props taken off right now, so we're not going to go into this. We're not going to start playing with the motors, but this allows you to get down and dirty into the nitty gritty of your specific motors. Um, Anyways, uh, let's head back to the table. So that's basically it. That's all you need to know about my setup for this TransTech Beetle. Obviously, I fly it, I think, pretty well for a relatively new flyer. Hopefully, these things will help you get your drone flying better. Top tip is to definitely go check out that um, uh, Joshua Bardwell uh, episode on the J esc configurator you're going to need to pay a small fee but i really do think it's worth it i noticed quite a big difference from that before and after setting all of that stuff up uh, I, i'm not going to try to do that video because he does it way better than me anyways guys thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate each and every one of you um you guys are the reason why i'm really keep on doing this uh, other than the fact that i really enjoy it but have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in another video Bye bye